Hi, my name's Rodney. I'm here in Ocean Beach, California. Uh, we're here in the morning at Checking the Surf, and I'm here to tell you how surfers use this information to find out when to go surf and how big the surf will be. As you can see behind me, Ocean Beach has a southwest swell going. It's in the morning, so it's light and variable winds, and there's a lot of guys out surfing. So the particular things about Ocean Beach is it's open to northwest swells as well as south swells. So those direction of swell, the period of swell, and the height of that swell is very important information to find out when you want to be out there. Like a lot of guys are out there right now, they made the decision by checking the buoys in the morning. The buoys right now are showing a primary swell from the southwest. Uh, this southwest swell is about 14 seconds, coming from a direction at about 180 to 185, which is really good for this beach. And this morning, we also have light and variable winds. This beach faces almost directly west, so offshore winds are really good from direct east. Offshore, uh, we call those Santa Ana winds. We don't have those today, but we have light and variable winds going to a sea breeze. So most of the guys will be out here surfing during the morning, and then the afternoon sea breeze will pick up and it'll kind of jumble it up a little bit. Ocean Beach, favorite place of mine to surf. And what I look for uh, during the winter is a big northwest swell coming from that direction, or during the summer, a big south swell coming from that direction. So we go to the National Weather Service Marine page to look for information. We look at local buoy observations. We also look at wind observations from the airports and local wind sites that are very close to where I'm located right now. Um, this is my local spot where I serve, but if I want to go travel, I have to use a lot more different parts of information to find out. For example, uh, last month, I decided to go to Pavones, Costa Rica. Uh, Pavones, Costa Rica was five hour flight, six hour drive, and spent about $2,000 to make this trip. $2,000 decision was purely based upon my knowledge of what was going on with the wave models in the South Pacific, what was going on with the satellite imagery, South Pacific, and knowing my knowledge of this break called Pavones, which Pavones takes in southerly swells. Particularly, Pavones needs a swell from 205 degrees to about 175 degrees. That's the swell window. That swell window for Pavones is particularly uh, vulnerable to storms near New Zealand, Antarctica, and the deep south Pacific. So last month I followed what we call a code red double XL swell and due to the timing of the swell, the size of the swell, its direction, its period, and the local winds in Pavones, I decided to go. We made the call and we got epic surf down there which really made me happy that $2,000 decision was a good call. So making the call for surf locally at my beach or making a call to go travel real far away uses weather information from buoys, wind observations, satellites, and your own local knowledge.